Hello YouTube, this is Bowtide Media, and I am back with another Tristam review. You know what it is. It's another one. This is my fourth now for his fourth single of Assumingly 5 before an album drops. Ah, I'm super excited, uh, but you, you are here for the reaction, so let's just jump into the song right away. Looks like some new characters. The storyline. Ooh. I like that a lot. We had each other floating in tether. You saw me broken. You cut me open It's like I don't even care at all Thinking retrospectively Okay, I'm jamming to this I was narrowing on a tear As I was ripping the velveteen Trust me, I know it's real The thing you say that you feel Whoa! like the highest paced Tristan song. Oh, frick! Oh my. Out in the open. This, this is the most, like, old Tristan. Oh my gosh. Hopeless and I'm weak. It's like I don't even care at all. Thinking retrospect. Cinematography in this music video is incredible too. I was narrowed in on a tear. As I was ripping the velvet scene. Trust me, I know it's real. The thing you say that you feel. I love this. Oh, I love that like choir section. It's obviously not a choir, but the melody. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yo. Yo, yo, yo. That was hands down uh, favorite Tristram single uh, from this album so far. Um, hands down, without without even a question. Um, without a question. Holy crap! That was so good. Um, damn. Wow, I just can't get over this. I love that so much. Though I was, okay, <laughs> I was driving home uh, literally right before this video and um, I was excited for it. And so I started listening through all of the old Tristan stuff in order from his most newest to oldest. Um, so I only got to like uh, uh, Before We Fade or something like that. Um, no, Bone Dry. But uh, I was like, man, I miss Tristam's kind of more electronic-y sounds where um, he lets uh, the instrumentation take over rather than his vocals. Um, where he lets, yeah, he lets his production style, his production shine more than his vocal performances. Um, and not that his vocal performances are bad at all. Um, I just love his production more so. Um, and that's kind of, that's why I love Tristam. 
Uh, but oh my gosh, this is so fun. I really love this track. It's um, easily the highest, uh, I don't know the best way to word it, uh, like paced track. Um, I, I, I don't think it's actually the highest tempo track. I'm assuming it's probably still around 128 BPM, um, but it just has so much more drive to it. Drive, I think that's the right word I'm looking for. It's got the most drive of any Tristan song ever um, because it kind of just keeps up uh, and kind of keeps going. Um, other songs, they kind of have the ebbs and flows and the big moments like uh, uh, like a My Friend or a, a Frame of Mind. Um, they, they have the ebbs and flows where they get intense or get more uh, driven and then they kind of slow back down. Um, but that was just going and going and going. And I, holy crap. I really love that song. Wow. I was, okay, I was thinking about how I would rate it either uh, as well, um, all the songs. Um, so I want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section below, uh, how you rate the song. Uh, for me, easily right now, Ruthless. Number one from the Tristam singles. Uh, Children in the Dark, I think, would actually be next. And then Violence and then Burn. Um, just the difference between Burn and Ruthless. They're like almost night and day. Two different, totally different Tristam styles. Where both is not, is We hadn't really seen either from him before up to this point. Of a really laid back acoustic track and something more driven like this. Um, dang. Yeah, I hope that Driven Common makes sense. Uh, it feels like it just kind of keeps going. Also, like, Crave has that big moments too, but something about it just uh, just kind of got to keep wanting to do this the whole time. As I'm sure I did a decent amount. Um, okay, uh, so I'm going to give it one more listen, and I'm going to hopefully find some lyrics online, um, if they're already up, uh, to see what he's actually saying, because uh, I wasn't paying attention too much to that, and I'll come back with some final thoughts. Okay, so lyrically, uh, the song is about, uh, I guess, Tristan here feeling like he, uh, well, he has some lover person, some personal relationship where he recognizes that he is ruthless to them, that he doesn't treat them the way that they should be treated in some capacity, one way or another. Um, but that what he feels is still love, but he just has this, I guess, inner thing that he can't control and he's still mean or ruthless. Um, it's, it's different than kind of what Tristan, I think, he's normally put out. Uh, he's put out a lot of, uh, like, we live in a society kind of... I don't want to say it like that, um, but just the idea of, like, a, a, a larger notion of societal issues or something like that. Um, or some relational stuff. But uh, this one is this one is a little more personal, I, I would say. And it feels a lot more like uh, he's honing in on uh, kind of his actions and mistakes and his personality more so than anyone else's and how he relates to that. Um, but yeah, oh man, I love this song. Something about that middle section where he just, um, uh, during the chorus, uh, so ruthless to you, and then just lets the, inst lets the production play a little bit before the next line goes. Ah, oh, so crisp. I love it. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm going to be listening to this song for a long time. You'll probably see this hit some year end lists. Uh, if nothing, if maybe something's going to be better than this on the album, uh, on the rest of the album, but we've no idea, no idea how many songs it's going to be. If it's even an album, he hasn't even officially said it's an album yet. Um, but we're assuming we're going to be waiting for one more single because of the website, there's kind of places for five of them. This is the fourth ruthless. Um, and it's my favorite of the four again, ruthless children in the dark violence burn. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But I have been Bowtie Media. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching my React stuff. I know that you guys like it a lot more than some of my other content. So uh, let me know if you want to, me to react or review or rank anything else uh, that is coming up. I would look to I would like to look at primarily stuff in the future that's coming out and not look at stuff in the past. Uh, but let me know what you guys think, especially of this song, Ruthless. Um, where does it rank for you? And uh, what are your final thoughts? But I've been Bowtie Media. I'll see you guys in another video.